All right, YouTube, this is your boy, the virus system, and we are here again today to do the chiri chiri chara chara. And today is Saturday, right here in Ghana. And um, today I'll be showing you how to create a demo login page for your online applications to run. Um, the first thing I have here is if you look at um, in lab school management system running on my subdomain, the virus systems online, and you can see the demo logins we have here. If you come to my next application, which is some point of sales. POS, which is the same thing on at um online of the virus systems, and we also have um ultimate loan management system also running here with different application. I'm um, sorry, different accounts here you can use to log in. So when you click on them, you see the various logins appearing before you click on the login button. We have our last application here, which is Eka School Management System 2, with the same sample login buttons here that you can use to log in. So today I'll be showing you how to do these logins by yourself. Now, the first thing I thought when I wanted to do this thing is I first of all um, went to Code Canyon to check on in lab school management system. And I realized that we have these few buttons at the bottom here. You can click on them to load default um, usernames and uh, passwords for you to be able to access the software online. And then I also went to um, um, Ekato School Management System too. And also have the same buttons here line I can use to log in. So what I did was this I compared the two of them before I started doing my work. Now, when it comes to um, in-lab school management system, when you set in-lab school management system to demo mode, then automatically this login will appear. When you remove it from demo mode, these things will go off. So these things are already set for you, but um, they are not set for Ekato school management system and other applications. So if you want to set them yourself, how do you do that? That is what we'll be looking at today. So the first thing I did was this. I visit um, Ekato school management system, look at the buttons, and then I picked these codes instead of writing them myself. I didn't want to waste my time. So time is not on our side. So I picked the source code for this and I added it on my Ekato school management system and I edited um, the login details that I have here. You can see that mine is different from the ones Ekato school management system has. Mine ends with um, DVS, which is the virus systems and DS end with examples.com. Is that okay? So that is how um, we, we create this login. So the first thing I did was this. I right click on Ekato School Manual System page and I come to view page source. Now, when viewing page source, I roll down to um, the buttons area and this is where we have the buttons lying here. So what I did was this. I copied these buttons up. I picked them up. So I'll copy from here and then I pick these buttons up. So after copying it, I come to um, my online, then I try to locate this particular file, the login file. So I'll navigate to my application folder here. Then I'll come to um, Ekato. Ekato, Ekato, Ekato. Then I'll go to applications, I come to views, then back end. Then I try to look for login. So I have um, login here. So when I open the login page, I'll try to find a location to add these buttons. And um, I added them before um, this um, class image area. So within this area, I checked um, forget password here. Then I want them to come after forget password. So when I go back to my page, I have forget password here. I'll paste them after forget password. So this is the DV for forget password. So I'll hit enter in between, then paste my code there. Then save my works, then goes back to Ekato and refresh to see whether they will appear. Now they have appeared, but um, forget password is still on. But when you look at Ekato school management system, they have taken off forget password. So how do we do that to on our page? So what we need to do is that we try to find um, the div for forget password. And in the class option where we have login button dash links, we click inside then space, then we'll add hidden. So that means that we want this particular div to be hidden. So save and refresh, that goes off. So now we have the buttons, but currently nothing is working for us because we haven't picked the JavaScript code yet. So now we need to pick the JavaScript code for these buttons. So we come back to our source code, then roll down to the JavaScript um, portion. Then this is the JavaScript. So we have script starting and script end. So we need to pick the whole of this script option then right click and copy, then goes back to our text editor, then add it um, before the end body tag. So I have it here. 
then I'll paste it here then save it then refresh my login and then try to hit on them to see whether it works is that okay but we are still having some few difficulties with the login because they are not working even though we have added the JavaScript code so now what we need to look at is check our code very well to check for some few errors now what we need to do is this JavaScript has been added so that means that these buttons are supposed to work so now what we need to look at is the elements that we want to put these values in so we have the email and the password elements and they're saying get by ID so that means that we need an ID called email and an ID called password so now here is the, um, the text box for email to be locked and we will have name with no ID so what we need to do is that we need to add an ID um, attribute to this particular field so what I'll do is I'll copy name and then I'll paste it right after the name then space and I'll change it to ID then I'll do the same thing for password copy then paste then we have ID so now we have created the ID so they are saying that the JavaScript going saying that get element by ID which is email and we have created that and get element by ID which is password and we have created that so now let's refresh our page to see whether this buttons will work as it is so when we click it's supposed to get um, the element by ID and then we are good to go so we have it filled here we have the next one filled we have the next field we have the next field we have the next field and then we have the next field all right also remember one thing that if you fix all these things and the IDs and this system is still not working that is the buttons are still not working now one thing you need to know is you check to see whether JavaScript code is connected to this particular page if not it won't work now we have JavaScript here connected to the page so once JavaScript is there now this code will work so let's assume in JavaScript was not there then that means that this code will not work so you need to make sure that JavaScript is also connected so these functionalities can work because these are JavaScript codes so always check to make sure that everything is okay so now what we need to do is this we need to create accounts for these particular logins in our school management system and we can edit these buttons or these informations to what will suit us best so it is my website so what I need to do is that I need to place this example by my website name so what I did was this I hold control plus H to um, open um, the find and replace boxes in um, subline then I'll type example um, example here yeah, which is the way to find and I want to replace every example with the word D V S which is the virus systems so I'll say replace all and it replace all this with that and these are the password for them so if I save and refresh my page again then I expect to have these logins appearing in my box so now what I need to do is I need to go and create accounts for um, librarian at dv.com at dvs.com and then a password of one two three four so what I need to do is I need to log in manually first with my old username and password and I can create the various um, email address and login buttons for all my systems so now what I need to do is roll down here and then I'll come to um users okay admin here admin here then we add the first admin so we have add admin and then the admin name is um Uriah then email address is um admin at dvs.com and then we have password is one two three four and phone number is um this and box we leave it like that so we can add admin and admin has been added um field email email field okay so but it has added um the information so let's log out and then try it um our sample login so we hit on admin and then we hit on login and that will log us into our system Ekator school management system and then we have it here so you have created a demo login page for your applications and users can access them um, access them but one thing you need to take notice of is um the settings area here the settings area here now 
when you log in we have your purchase code here which users can access that purchase code so how do you deal with this hiding your purchase code from users so we can find it at systems settings is that okay system settings under admin so what we need to do is that we need to go to um, our application folder then we'll come to admin here then we'll look for system settings and we we'll have system settings somewhere around here then roll down to purchase code 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 now we have purchase code here yeah so purchase code dv is here and the whole of the group for purchase code is this so we're going to hide the whole of this dv off from screen so we space then we ha add hidden and then you save the button and then reload so when you reload then you expect your purchase code to vanish off from screen is that okay now but even when you hide and somebody right click from here let's say we go to source code is that okay source code and then we'll come to um purchase code yeah so um we have purchase code here but we can still see that the value of purchase code is echo out on the source code so that means that somebody can still get what your purchase code so what you need to do is that you need to take off the value here um we have value here which is to echo at our purchase code so what we need to do is that we need to take off this value off from our source code and then save our um this thing back um, our text file back and then refresh our page and our system runs very well without a problem so if somebody even checks on your source code that means that that person will not have access to um the system and at this point if you want you can remove the hidden off and then um, your purchase code can still run on the screen with an empty box without displaying what your purchase code on screen for others to be able to have access to what that purchase code to pick it up so that is how to set up um ecato school management system um demo logins and then as well as others um applications that you can also run on screen so i hope this helped you to be able to create what um a demo login um, for your online applications and if you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned with the virus system for more tutorials to come on your way and with donations check on my blog for an email address of paypal to donate to that blog to help the virus system to run and please remember what i told you all these things are purposely meant for educational purposes if you want to run these applications please visit code can you to get applications to buy with better extension and license to be able to run on your systems without any difficulty so stay tuned with the virus system till our next tutorial